Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is officially day two. Day two of the new house build. I'm a little out of breath. I just got done chopping down some trees with a handsaw because my dad thought it'd be better than buying a chainsaw. Yeah, chainsaws are much better. So today is the first demo of the house. So I'm gonna go over what we're doing. I'm taking down this wall right here. Okay, so this wall is essentially a separation from the dining room to the front door. I don't understand it. it makes no sense whatsoever. So this wall is gone. This wall is the next wall coming down. So you have the kitchen, dining room, divider, living room. Don't like this. I want this one big open space. What I'm gonna do is take this down, kind of. I'm gonna actually leave up this column right here because that is a weight bearing column. So if I took that down, I'd have to re-engineer everything, restructure it. Don't wanna do that. And I'm also gonna leave in this header right here. So this is gonna be here, this is gonna be here. This right here, that's all gone. I'm gonna rip all that out. I'm gonna replace it with a piece of live oak that's 18 inches wide. So this is gonna be a double access bar top. So you can be in the dining room, to the kitchen, to the living room. So yeah, that is the game plan for today. And I have to rip off all the base trim. All this base trim has to come off because the carpet's coming out and we're putting in hardwood. So my dad just pulled in. He's from Jersey. He's gonna help me do it. I need help, but it's a lot of fun working with him. I miss him, so it should be a good time. All right, let's uh, get to plasticing up the wall so I don't make a big mess. Here we go. Okay, so update, we have taken off a little bit of the trim. My dad is currently uh, whacking holes in the wall. Remember too, when you're uh, doing anything, make sure that you have an electric meter or electric tester, because um, there is live electric through this wall that we're taking down. So all the trim has been taken off of this wall. First move it down. So a little trick with drywall, always make sure you score everything. See, I scored the side ceilings and then make it more manageable. You score these pieces so when you're ripping things down, you have manageable spots that you can work with and that really helps in the uh, demo of the drywall. Right, Dad? Right. Yeah? You making a cameo? Yeah. <laughs> okay, all the drywall's done. All of this has to get moved to that wall there. And then that is gonna get disconnected with a junction box. Taking this off, this is for the light. So I have to reroute this all the way up in the ceiling, hide all that for this, and then reroute all of this electrical right here. So that is gonna go through the subfloor up here like that. And now hopefully the wall doesn't come crumbling down and take this out. This is literally the best tool. Okay, so what I did there was I notched that out a little bit with my undercutting saw. I made little notches. So what I was doing is it was taking pressure off the two by fours because if I tried to cut all the way through to kind of bind the whole thing up and then I was able to cut the back off and it came out really nice. So what is next is I'm gonna take the rest of this out and then uh, change batteries. And uh, pretty strong, Dad. Okay, time for a big update. So, we have taken down both walls that needed to go. And um, now it is time for the fun part, the relocation of all the electrical. So I'm gonna take you through the process. I remember when you're working on electrical, make sure you shut the breakers off. This is our main box here, okay? There's a three pole and three single pole, which essentially a three pole means you have two different light switches, one over here 
and one over here or over there. And that controls one of the lights. So you have to remember if you're gonna replace all this, you have to keep in mind that there's different powers going through this one switch. So what I've decided to do was take out this wall here and take this box, buy a new four box, four way, and stick that in the wall right here. The game plan is to take a brand new four way box, stick that in there, put all brand new switches. And then since these wires are not long enough, I'm then going to put something called a junction box right here. What a junction box is, is a place where these wires come together. Because I'm gonna put brand new wires here, feed it up here in a junction box and put everything together so it's safe and it's up to code. And then I'm gonna have to pull all these wires through that hole, stick them to the ceiling, drill a hole right there, and that header drill through down there, go into the junction box, brand new switch, one more junction box because this is for the outside lights. So I have to go into the crawl space, drill a hole there, bring it up there, and good to go. Then this is going to be eliminated up in the ceiling. And then over here, this guy over there, he's going to be building a header. This header, which I'll show you in a second, is for a piece of live oak that's approximately eight and a half feet long. It's going to sit across here for the bar top. We're going to move this electrical into the column over here. This electrical is gonna go into a junction box and it's going to go right across here, hidden inside of the header. And then the actual piece of bar top will sit on top of there. Redo that switch. And that's what we gotta do. So let's go do it. This is the beautiful, beautiful piece of live oak that I'm going to be using for the bar top. I'm going to be sanding this, pouring epoxy in here. I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of really cool things. So I'm super excited. My dad's really pissed off because he doesn't like this whole camera thing. He thinks I'm an idiot, um, which I mean, you know, I can't know, can't really argue that. <laughs> but uh, let's get back inside, and get some work done. Okay, so electrical is pretty much done. I uh, made two junction boxes and made a new switch box, which is gonna have four switches instead of three like the previous one. Um, so a little tip here, you notice I numbered all the wires. So this is the junction box number one, junction box number two. Everything is running into there. This is our low voltage doorbell switch that I broke. I'll have to patch that up. But if you remember, all the wires were up here, refed them through, came up through there, brought it all the way down, then I had to crawl all the way in the crawl space. There was a wire there, brought that up through there, rerouted that, came up there, and progress. The header is in, in the bar area. So header is done. So now the big slab is coming. This is the previous box. So this is the box with all the wires. So if you notice, that's number five, number three, they're all numbered. So now all I have to do is just take the old box and match up to all my new wires into my new box. And we are back for another day in the adventure of the house build. Unfortunately though, um, my dad had to head back to Jersey, but we have a lot of good progress. So drywall is done. So yeah, now I'm gonna do some mudding and um, hardwood floor is coming in today. All this carpet needs to get up. I have to remove all of this trim has to go. I am going to clean all this up. I'm gonna show you how to properly remove carpet and properly remove trim because I am gonna be reusing this trim. So yeah, let's get to it. 